Good morning. My name is Sadhat Bedi. Welcome to Chutkara. Today we are going to talk about liquors. When we talk about liquors, we will be talking about their introduction, their types, and then we want, moving forward, we are talking about rum, its introduction, various types of rums, the various famous brands. Then we will move on to gin, and we talk about the introduction types and brands of gin. And in the end, in today's video, we'll be talking about vodka, its introduction, its types, and its brands. So, as you all know, liquor happens to be an alcoholic drink which is produced by the distillation of grains, fruits, or vegetables that have already gone through alcoholic fermentation. The origin of the word liquor was made from a Latin word called liquor, which means to be fluid. In the photograph below, you can see various kinds of liquors which are famous in the market. Liquors are made by the method of distillation, uh, which we had discussed earlier. There are two basic methods, pot still and patent still method. Then if you talk about the types of liquors, we have fermented, in which we have wines which are made from grapes. Then we have beer which is made from food grains. Then pear and sadar, which are apple based, uh, fruit based brandies which are made from fruits. Then in miscellaneous, we have mead. And moving forward, then we go on to distill, in which we have whiskey, brandy, rum, tequila, fruit brandies like Calvados. And in compounded and flavored spirits, we have gin, liqueurs, and bitters. Now the first one that we will be talking about today is rum. So rum, it happens to be a very famous brand, uh, brand in India which was named by, by Old Mom, which is very old and very traditional. Rum is made by the distillation of fermented sugarcane, which is also known as molasses or concentrated sugarcane juice. Rum cannot be less than 80% proof. Proof happens to be that basic terminology by which we determine the alcoholic content present in the bottle. It is mentioned on the each bottle made and it is also an indication of how much alcoholic content the bottle has. The principal areas of rum production are located in Jamaica, Barbados, Guyana and Cuba. Cuban rums are world famous. Then moving forward, classification. White rums, they are usually light bodied. Then we have golden rums, also known as amber rums, which are medium bodied. Then dark rums, which are traditionally rich, caramel dominated rums. And in the end, we have a new trend which has come up, which is known as flavored rums, which are made in the countries like Sweden, in which the various substitutes are added in order to impart flavor, like fruits or any herbs, depending upon the distillery which is making that particular spirit. Then if you talk about a few basic brand names, famous brand names for rums, in the dark rums category we have Appleton, Captain Morgan, Mount Gay, Bacardi, 8 years made in Puerto Rico, Myers Dark made in Jamaica. Then in amber rums or golden rums we have Mount Gay Eclipse again made in Jamaica, Bacardi a very famous brand for rum which has Bacardi Gold and Appleton Estate, which is also made in Jamaica. In light rums, we have Bacardi Silver, Ron Rico, Barilla, Dry Cane, El Dorado White. In flavored rums, we have Malibu, which is based on coconut. Coconut is added into the rum so as to give it a coconut flavor. It reduces the harshness and also imparts the flavor of the fruit, which is added. And if you talk about a few Indian brands here, we have Old Mong, we have Sea Pirate, Black Bull and Hercules. Old Mong happens to be one of the oldest rums present in our country and a very famous rum for the winters. Then moving forward, we are talking about gin. Gin is synonymous to tonic water. Gin and tonic happens to be one of the most world famous combinations which are made. Gin is a white spirit flavored with juniper berries and botanicals. Botanicals are those herbs and spices which are readily available to us in nature. The spirit of gin is primarily grain 
usually wheat or rye, which is dwells in a light body and spirit. Jinn happens to be colorless. Then what are the various types of gins? We have two basic types. We distill, in which we are redistilling the white grain spirit, which has been flavored with juniper berries and other botanicals. Botanicals happen to be your herbs and spices. Then compound gin, which is made without redistilling, in which we are actually flavoring a neutral spirit with juniper berries without any redistillation. In the photograph below, you can have a look at the various brands which are famous for gin like Hendrix and Tanqueray. Then what are the brands? If we talk about the various brands of gin, the first one we have here is Beef Eater, which was produced in 1820, so you can say all it's almost 200 years old. Then Bombay Sapphire, which is distilled with 10 botanicals, so it happens to be very aromatic and has a very good flavor. Then we have Boots which was produced by Sir Felix Booth in 1790. Then we have Gilby's Gin, Gordon's by the appointment of, to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain by permission of the Queen of England. Then Hendrix Gin infused with cucumber, coriander, citrus peel and rose petals. A few of the brands which I mentioned, you can see the photographs also here. We have Bombay Sapphire in blue. Then we have on the top we have Bayfitter. Then we have Gordon's, a few basic brands of gin which are famous worldwide. Then moving forward, the national drink of Russia, vodka. This happens to be a colorless liquid which contains purified ethanol and is one of the most consumed spirit beverages in the world. The word vodka is derived from the word root of the Slavic word voda which means water or tiny water. This is actually a derivation of water only, which is made from a word from the Slavic language. Then vodka can be distilled from many different grains like rye, wheat, potatoes, sugar, molasses and corn, but we usually use potatoes. Then you can see a few famous brands here like Sky Vodka, Ciroc, Smirnoff, Grey Goose, then we have Kettle One, we have Tito's, so these are a few brands as well. Then moving forward, we have a very fun fact about vodka. The most expensive vodka that will ever come into the market would be Diva Vodka, which is made by Blackwood Distillery in Scotland. This bottle it happens to be very fascinating. Each bottle would have semi-precious or precious stones, including diamonds, and the product range would go up to somewhere around from starting from 70 pounds to around a million pounds. So this would be one of the most expensive vodka bottles made in the coming future. Then if we talk about the basic brands of vodka, the brand is famous from Sweden, Absolute, made from wheat, Solchnoi, made from Russia, Starka, which is made in Russia and Poland. It's almost similar to whiskey, distilled from rye and it's matured. Then the Zabruska, which is flavored by a type of grass called Zabruska or Bison grass, is served chilled. This particular grass is available in Poland. The Smirnoff, another famous brand. Peter Smirnoff started this brand in 1880 and now it is owned by a US company. So I hope you liked my video. Thank you so much for watching me. In the next video, we'll be talking about other liqueurs like tequila, whiskey and others. And for any queries, make, feel free to make sure that you comment uh, your questions. You can send your questions in the chat box as well. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.